Kelim Perik Yud Zayin Mishnah Tet. Ninth Mishnah in the 17th chapter of Masechet Kelim. We continue on. Ama. We're talking about measurements. Now we're talking about length. How long is an ama? So the word, <laughs> imagine if I said a foot or it is a meter. Which meter would you like? Would you like the big meter or the small meter? There were. Says the, the Bartanura, there was an, uh, well, Mishnah says, but ama be no need. A medium ama. Why? Because there were three ama. For example, he ama bat shisha tfachim. The sixth tefach ama, okay, and obviously tfachim are also subjective. The ika ama bat chamisha, there's a five tefach ama. The ika ama gdola bat shisha ve espa, and there's a six plus. The ama bat shisha he be no need. The medium one, so there's five. Six and six plus. So when we talk about amot in halacha, in Shabbat, eruvin, v'suka, right? It's the, the maximum size of v'suka is twenty amot. So that's ama benoni, six tefachim, one hundred twenty tefachim. How big is the tefach? Ask your local rabbi. Ushte amot hayu v'shushan habira. Achat al keren v'zrachit tzfonit, ve'achat al keren v'zrachit dromit. Shushan habira is the name of a gate. In the Beit HaMikdash, let me take you to the Machon HaMikdash. We're back to our uh, our uh, Midot days. So the, the Beit HaMikdash, it says it's called Sha'ar Shushan. It was the name, the gate of Shushan. Why was it Sha'ar Shushan? Because the Shushan authorities demanded, this is the eastern gate leading into the Beit HaMikdash from the east. If you think about the Kotel HaMaravi on the west side, this is coming from the exact opposite side. This is the gate coming in from this side. It was called Sha'ar Shushan. Why Sha'ar Shushan? Because the authorities in Shushan demanded that they have a picture of Shushan to be around so they wouldn't forget who's in charge. Very interesting. It makes a lot of sense. Very interesting geopolitically. So the Mishnah says that in Shushan, in Shushan of it's called Shushan, the, the capital city, in that Shar, there were two Amot measurements that were literally chiseled in or like, like connected to the gate. Echad al Keren Mizrachit Tzvonit, one on the northeast side, Echad al Keren Mizrachit Romit. And one on the southeast side, she'al karen mizrachit tzfonid. On the northeast side, aita yitei rachel Moshe chazi etzba. So it was the ama of Moshe, which was she six tefachim plus a half etzba. Ve'al karen mizrachit dromid. On the southeast side was hayak yitei ra'ale another additional chazi etzba, half an etzba. Nimzeit yitei ra'al Moshe etzba. It was six plus six plus an etzba. So if we go back to our picture of the shar. Somewhere here, they don't. It's in, I would have put it in there. So somewhere they would, they had a like a stick that was one ama, and here they had a stick that was another. It's by this was six plus, and this was six plus one, six point point oh five, and this was six plus not oh five, but it's six and a half etzba, and six and a and six and a full etzba. Why? Mishnah says Why one big, big one small? Ela sheumanim no blim baktana. Um, the, the artisans, the craftsmen, the workers, they got their job, they got their responsibility to take small, they, in the small measurement, and they had to give back the work in large measurement. Why? Mi'ila means the, uh, the prohibited benefit from Egdish. So they were paid. So it says, make me, I don't know, make me, I need bookcases. Make me a bookcase of six amo. So the Bartunir says what they had to do, the Gizbar would Madna Alumanim, they would the Gizbar, the Gabai, right? The guy in charge, he would give them tasks them with work. Amot binyantas with the We need a bookcase, we need a three amma bookcase, me amoshal moshe, from Moshe's Amot. And I'll pay you whatever for this amount of money. And he had to give you back not six amot, but in the amot of six uh, of six and an etzba. That they would add from their own pocket. They had to add a little bit. Why? If they tried to get exact and they gave less, then it's uba ili de mi'ila. You know, new minagdish. Mi'ila is is an isur kare. I had a kare. Mishav de shemaim. You don't want to do mi'ila. So, if, like, if you measured exactly and you gave a little bit less, then the artisan might violate, might be committing mi'ila. So, therefore, he says, no. I tell you, give me six. You give me in six and an etzba, and you're clear, no problem at all. So then, Lamashtein, why did you have two, a big and a small? Chada lekaspa b'zahava. So one measurement was gold and silver. Like, seriously, six, like an etzba is a ton. So if he gave you an amot, give me a one and a half amma box, a gold box, I need gold plating for this, you know, whatever. You could only do it uh, in, when you, when they make conditions, in sarfei kesef v'zahav, la'asot tavla abat arba v'chamesh amot, if they have five or six amot, machzirin imidai teira chatsi etzba. Gold and silver, you can do it. In the, you, you just add a half an etzba. Everything else was a full etzba. 
really fascinating. It's a very interesting principle for artisans in general. Be careful not to, to, to give in full measurement. Stop here, dedicate our learning. Remember me, my father, Rav Simcha, Make it a great day.